So hey everyone, it's me with another shop update. It's shop update number two. And right now I'm in the middle of project of building a automatic sliding door with which I'm flooding the social media with pictures and shorts and, and everything. So far I have this uh, frame, which is the actual door, which will be moving on a C-section profile, which will be above it. And yeah, this one is ready for uh, receiving a coat of paint and uh, it's just uh, 25 by 25 millimeter profiles. Here are miter joints, here is a butt joint, everything is welded together and, uh, and send it. And uh, yeah, there is a connected mesh, which, uh, well, let's take a closer look. So uh, the mesh is actually connected in a way that uh, each of these specs uh, has uh, its own hole in the profile and uh, the mesh is just slided in. So it's like floating. And yeah, there's like 356 of these specs around all the two meshes. So yeah, that much, uh, that many of holes I had to drill and and then quite <laughs> took uh, some took quite time to slide everything together and just weld it to, together. So in the beginning, I was thinking about different ways how to attach it, and my friends tried to convince me uh, to try to weld it. So each of these specs, uh, I would have to cut the mesh to size perfectly to size, and then position it and tech weld it. Uh, to the frame but and I tried that I have this I have this prototype and yes this is the result of of the welding let's see okay and I'm using MMA welding the uh, the stick rod so I wasn't able to uh, get a decent decently looking weld and I'm not able to get there to grind it and, and send it and everything. So this type of job uh, really calls for a TIG welding and uh, I, uh, I wouldn't have to even use the filler rod. I think just fusing uh, the, uh, the back with the profile would be sufficient. Uh, but yes, I don't have a TIG welding machine. So. The other idea I prototype is to drill the holes and just slide this in and that works quite well. It's a little wobbly and uh, the wire has a 3 mm diameter and I used a 3.3 uh, drill bit because the 3 mm uh, you just cannot slide the 3 mm peg into 3 mm hole because of tolerances. So I found the next big thing and that's the 3.3 uh, drill bit and that uh, that works wonderfully so i did that on uh, on the profile itself and uh, yeah it was a little bit finicky just to get everything lined up i think it took me like hour or maybe one and a half, one and a half hour but yeah the result is very nice and it doesn't rattle if I move it, it doesn't rattle, it's nice tight fit and yeah, that's, uh, that's the sliding door. So this will receive a coat of uh, powder coating paint and uh, I cannot do this uh, here of, of course. So I opted to use a company which is uh, in my city and yeah, they decided to, or they told me they will do this for some price, which is a little bit higher than I originally thought, but that's okay. Uh, and yeah, I will be taking this to the company tomorrow. And today I made uh, sort of wheels, which will go on the frame like this. And they will slide into the C channel uh, which will be above the door and the door will be sliding in the C-channel. So let's take a closer on the closer look and the beautiful welding.
As you can see, I'm not a welder. I'm, I'm a hot glueist at best. But uh, the wheels are, are holding nice. It's straight. It doesn't fall off. It, it holds the weight. So let's call this a, a half success. This is another type of job which would be uh, suitable for the TIG welding. I think this is practically not possible with the, uh, with the uh, stick welding. I tried uh, a very small rod, 1.6 millimeters. I, di I dialed it down to 30, 35 amps and I was just barely uh, able to strike an arc and uh, I went through the rod very, very quickly. So uh, I either st uh, stick the rod uh, to the weld or just ran out of the rod very quickly. So yeah, that's, uh, that's really the, I hope the most finicky and ugliest part of this job, but it holds, uh, it won't be seen uh, and I will give it a nice thick coat of, uh, coat of paint. And the reason why I uh, couldn't uh, weld it directly to the frame is that during the powder coating process, uh, the freshly sprayed paint uh, has to dry up in the oven of sorts, which will heat up uh, the paint up to 220 degrees. So these uh, bearings and uh, polyamide wheels uh, will just melt off. So. Uh, I came up with the detachable uh, solution, so I will send this to the, to the painting and once it will arrive I will mount the wheels and I think it will be good to go. So yeah, that's the current state of the project and uh, up until next week I will continue with the other parts. I will do the legs which will be one on each side. I will uh, create the top section with uh, the C profile and uh, different mountings for the motor and for the pulleys uh, and for sensors to uh, so the logic will have the information where the door are, what is the speed and so on. But uh, the whole design of, uh, of this sliding door is that it uh, won't be freestanding that it has to be attached some, to something, the wall, uh, in order to stand and doesn't, uh, don't fall off. So uh, I cannot mount it here because I don't have uh, enough space uh, to simulate the actual door. So I will build one. I'm thinking about uh, some wooden structure, uh, some strip which will be on the floor something like 30 centimeters wide, okay. And uh, putting uh, another strip of the wood uh, on the left side and right side and on the far side of the door and uh, binding everything together with another strip of uh, uh, wood on top. So it will form this type of uh, uh, like opening and it will give me the, uh, the options to, uh, to mount the structure on this, uh, on this fake wall. So I wouldn't need this if it would be just a mechanical thing. I think uh, for the final assembly uh, it would be uh, possible to do this without the wooden structure. But uh, I have to program the whole thing. I have to wire the electronics. Uh, and start programming uh, the, the automation which will actually move the door back and forth with uh, a lot of uh, fail safeties and, and so on. So I will need like a week of work or at least a couple of days to, uh, to get this moving and I need it to be standing and moving without any, uh, any problem or hesitation so I can work on the software part of the thing. So that's, that will be like job for tomorrow, make uh, the wooden structure. Uh, it has to be long like 3.2 meters, which will, yeah, which will be quite complicated. So I think I will move it on the other side. 
and uh, then I will continue with sourcing the material and uh, uh, actually building the other parts of, of the structure. And yeah, I think that's, uh, that's all for this update. Uh, if you don't know already, I'm uh, trying to, uh, to publish for each day some type of short video on YouTube and it's uh, on the Instagram as well. And I'm posting on the Instagram a lot of pictures from the process. So if you are into this kind of stuff, uh, go check out my Instagram, the link is below, or subscribe to the, to the YouTube shorts. And if you are really, really big fan of this channel and you want to help me out uh, making this stuff, uh, you, okay, all of my patrons are behind the, uh, this, uh, behind this mesh. So yeah, go check out my Patreon. Uh, there is no additional content yet, but uh, it will help me tremendously to uh, continue making these videos and explaining all the caveats and fuck ups which, which I'm collecting along uh, along the way so thank you very much for uh, checking uh, checking on me and see you next week bye